So we're looking at graphical inequalities. Here we're looking at a situation where they've already drawn the lines on the graph and we've got to work out what the inequalities are that they're showing us on this graph. Okay. Now, word of warning, if you don't know how to figure out lines, uh, equations of lines, i.e. y equals mx plus c, you need to go and revise that before you come and do this topic. Otherwise, you'll just get stuck. So we've got three lines here. So we need three inequalities. We're going to start with the easier lines, which are the vertical and horizontal one. So this vertical line here is x equals 6. Now, because our region is this side of it, what we need is x to be less than, and because it's solid, or equal to the 6. So that's because this line is x equals 6, and the region we're interested in is this side, less than. Okay? So now let's look at this one here. So this is the line y equals 2, and we need to be above that line. So y needs to be greater than 2. Notice I'm not putting the equals on this time because that's a dotted line. So the last thing we've got to do is figure out, first of all, what the equation of this line is. So that's our y equals mx plus c. So the c in this particular case here is a 6. And then to find our gradient, we're gonna, I'm going to go for that spot there. So we form up our triangle. So this goes from 8 to 6. So that's 2 that way. And this one goes from 8 to 6 as well. So 2 over 2, that's our m. 2 over 2 is 1. So the equation of that line is y equals x plus 6. So we know that we're going to have an inequality that has that, that side, and this on this side. But what we need to know is whether or not it's less than or greater than. So to check that out, we're going to pick a point inside the region that we're using. So I'm going to use that point there, which is when x is 5 and y is 4. So I'm going to pop that underneath. So y is 4 when x is 5. So 5 plus 6, which equals 11. So think about it. What works here? Is 4 less than 11 or greater than 11? It's less than 11. Therefore, this one is going to be less than up here. And because it's a solid line, it's also going to have the um, extra line, the equal sign there. So we've done it by testing a point we know is in the region. So it's got to work. And the only way it's going to work is if we have the sign this way round. So let me do another example. <clears throat> so three more lines to work out. So let's start with this line here. This line here is y equals 4. This line here is y, um, sorry, x equals 4. And then we've got a slightly more challenging line here. So that's going to be y equals something x plus 2, because it goes through 2 there. So we look at it, so it goes through there, and it goes through there again. So let's form up our triangle here. Okay, so it goes from 4 to 2, so that's 2 this way, and it goes from 0 to 1 this way. So m equals 2 over 1, which is basically 2. So the equation of that line is y equals 2x plus 2. So now we've got to turn these into inequalities. So our region here is above this y equals 4 line. So y 
has to be greater than or equal to 4 because it's a solid line. Here we've got our x equals 4 line and our region is this side, so it's got to be less than that. So x has to be less than 4, no extra line this time because that's dotted. So the final one we've got to figure out is we've got y. We don't know what the sign is yet. And on the other side, it will have 2x plus 2. So again, to figure this out, we're going to pick a point inside our region. Don't pick one on the lines because that's not conclusive. OK, so I'm going to pick inside. So I'm going to pick this point here. OK, and the coordinates of that point there are x equals 3 and y equals 5. So now let's test it out. So y equals 5 when 2 times 3, 2x, two is 6 plus 2, and 6 plus 2 is 8. So which way does the sign need to go? 5 has to be less than 8. So it's a solid line. So it's going to be y is less than or equal to 2x plus 2. One more. So we'll do the easy line first. So this one is where y equals minus 1. Now we've got a positive gradient line here. So that one is going to be y equals, now it goes through at minus 2. So it's got minus 2 on the end. We've just got to figure out the gradient, OK? Just so it doesn't get too messy, I'm going to do it, the triangle bit up here for a change. So I'm going to pick those two points, form my triangle here. So that's 4 take away 2, so that's 2. And 6 take away 4, so that's 2. So the m is 2 over 2, which is just 1. So the equation of that line there is just y equals x minus 2. So now we're going to do this other one. Now this one's going to have a minus gradient. So it's going to be y equals minus something x. And let's look, where does it go through the y-axis? This goes through here at 4. So it's going to be plus 4 on the end. So I just need to figure out that gradient. Um, so let's take that point there. And we'll use that point there as well. So we'll form up our triangle here. So that is 4 minus 2. So that's 2 in this direction. And 0 uh, 1 minus 0, rather, so that's 1 in that direction. So the m, the gradient for this one, is going to be 2 over 1, which is 2. So the equation of this line here is y is, equals minus 2x plus 4. So now we've got to turn them all into inequalities. So here's our region. So for this line here, the region is above the line. So it's going to be y is greater than or equal to minus 1. Notice they're all solid lines this time, so they're all going to have the extra. Now, <clears throat> we're going to have two others that we're going to have to test out. So we've got y something, we don't know yet what the sign is, x minus 2. So let's pick a point inside our region. I'm going to pick this point here which is the point when x is 2 and y is minus 2. So let's put it in here. So we've got minus 2 and x is 2, so 2 minus 2, which is 0. So what sign do we need here? Minus 2 is less than 0, so this is going to be a less than or equals 2. So now we need to do it on the final line. So we've got y something, we don't know what the sign is yet, but it's minus 2x plus 4. So we're going to use the same coordinates here. So when y is, I'll just put a line there just so that it's separated. When y is minus 2, 
we've got minus 2x. So that's minus 2 times 2, which gives us minus 4. And then we've got plus 4. Minus 4 plus 4 equals nothing. So we've got minus 2 here and 0 here. Minus 2 is less than 0. So up here we go and put in less than or equal to. So that's how we work out the inequalities from a graph.